What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? No. What year is it? Hello? Hello? When a Stranger Calls came out in 2006 is a film that came out 15 years ago and I want to talk about it 15 years later to see if it still holds up or if it's as good as it once was or if it just downgraded from the years because it hasn't held up. So this is the first I've ever seen of this film. It's a remake so I'm watching the remake first in the original. I will watch the original which is the next video which is another remake versus this remake. It stars a babysitter called Jill babysitting this big ass modern looking house and she gets a bunch of creepy phone calls I want saying that you know breathing Hello? Why are you doing this? What do you want? I haven't seen anything in one now. This film's okay, guys. It's so boring. It starts off in school. She has drama of Katie Cassidy and well, her and Tessa Thompson were friends and Katie Cassidy has issues with them one now. Again, it's just cool seeing these young actors being in future projects or comic book projects or whatnot. But yeah, they just have this whole thing with this drama thing that does not need to be there, by the way. But it's there for some reason. So yeah, they have a thing going. Turns out she has to go babysit. Tessa Thompson's character has to go to like a rave or something. That really doesn't matter as well, but they call her every once in a while. This jail character babysit two kids while the parents are going out. Now, Joe's in a house just eating food and whatnot, and she keeps hearing creepy stuff, a lot of red herrings and jump scares, which is like typical horror stuff, like modern horror stuff, which is a little bunch of jump scares. And then she keeps getting these calls of breathing, not saying anything. And you know, she calls the cops on one saying, like, hey, preach this call and whatnot. Let this call be at least, you know, one minute, 60 seconds. And it's not until the, this killer says, Have you checked the children? Where it's like, she freaks the fuck out, she drops the phone, go checks out. But, but my issue with this film is that it takes forever to get to that point. Clark Gray, Agent Coulson is in the film, by the way, he's just there. I do like the opening of the film with a fair carnival and then this, you know, it's so loud, no one can hear this lady being killed in her house or little girl or just young girl, which I thought was cool. But again, my issue is that Jill, the kid, she just does nothing. Nothing happens in the movie. It's so boring. Like she goes to the house, she's just walking around, she meets the maid, Rosa. Kitty Cassidy's character even shows up because why the hell not? She's like a red herring, again, more, a lot of red herring. And she's just doing homework, waking up, there's a lot of jump screws the cats and whatnot having a lot of phone calls and about it that's really about it man that's yeah i have much to say about this she keeps getting these creepy ass phone creepy shit i like that aspect getting there and just the rest of the film so boring that's what's scary about like big houses out of nowhere you could basically have a stranger come in and kill you at night and not know it because you're kind of in the middle of nowhere and so i never wanted like a big ass house like this out of nowhere you know it's like fucking scary ain't no can come in and be like hey stranger i'm nice turns out they're fucking creepy either way once the police find out you know where the phone calls are coming they trace it back to the, within the house itself which i thought was creepy nice touch and immediately i won't lie though i thought of black christmas i haven't seen black christmas original or the 2006 remake or the i've heard a lot of great things about it. quoted great thing i've seen bits and pieces of the remake 2006 remake and i've seen bits and pieces of the original but from what i've heard it's a similar concept of this serial killer or slasher killer calling from within this house or the sorority house so it's like this is ripping off the original came out in 79 so i don't know if it ripped it off or this remake was like eh we'll just do this because this came out the same year black christmas was dead 2006 remake so it's gonna be interesting to be like hmm all right it's quite interesting i don't know if this is rip off or just borrowing from the original you know concept but either way the killer gets to her because she finds katie cassidy's body in the hall bathroom that's like up these stairs the rosa maid she just her body is never fine but assuming she's dead there's like a guest house that's just there because right now jill's a you know quick runner right now it even starts with her running on top of this like basketball court thing like she's a runner so now she gets away man i do like that they're hiding his face until the end but they hide his face in his face in a shadow right this killer she stabs him with this little rod thing she gets out find the cops the cops get to him the parents come back children are okay and joe was smart enough to get away from this killer again like a minute ago i said that they didn't show his face they showed his face they did. Like, okay whatever but again throughout the most of the film he's in a shadow and and when we actually do see him on screen his face is covered in the shadow which i do like but then because of this experience jill has ptsd and yeah that's the movie it's her in the hospital having ptsd clark a great worried about her daughter his daughter or whatnot and yeah i immediately had a thought this movie's okay Okay. when a stranger calls 15 years later is just okay it's so boring and i'm excited to see the original and then my next remake versus video because i hope it's better i hope it's better than this one so yeah it's okay so this has been the road so far and thank you for watching <laughs>